We live. We live. Salute the star. Salute the Tommy. Salute the big Greg in the building. AJ, AJ, AJ. Rich, what up? We in the building. We in the building, see? Um, Slam Newton, what up? Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Listen. Shout out to Rumble, I see you. ETV, what up? Y'all hit that like button, man. Y'all hit that like button. Cause there's some BS going on. ETB, what up? See y'all coming in. Chase Bank, what's good? Big Greg, I see you. Chase the Capitan. Shout out to Lady DJ. Hit the cash app. Hello. Prime time, what up? Definitely getting this here in. So then it'll be time to drink. Nephew, what up? Y'all hit that like button, man. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. But none more crazy than this. I tell y'all. That's a crazy time. But it's been confirmed though. It's been confirmed. Kwame Brown is scared to death of damn D. It is what it is, man. You can like me, you can hate me, but y'all Kwame's got to accept that. Y'all death scared. That's why y'all call the man Milkman. But you always get in your own way, so it's going to come out. But this ain't about you. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Everybody know.
that uh, you lack courage, Kwame Brown. That's why he was never an enforcer in the locker room. All you wanted to enforce was how much you could drink. That's it. You are a documented drunk. For real. Star, what up? Appreciate you. Yes, respect to you. Shout out to Tess, man. Real good brother. We in here. But Kwame Brown, sit down, man. Your whole thing is exposed. You need a group of weirdos around you so you can feel important. I've been pointed that out about you. Sears brought it back up. I said, yeah, you know what? I did. That was back when, you know, You had me over there talking noise so everybody would cam up. <laughs> as soon as I left, you cut the cameras off. But when those crackheads had to cam up and talk to you like they had some intelligence, I exposed them. All of them have messed up teeth, even ears. Mm hmm And on. Um, I exposed all that. But a lot of content creators gave them passes. I told y'all about Pete Lane. Gave him passes. <laughs> Everybody. You're going to see it next. I don't exactly know who it's going to be. If it's going to be Gary. Uh, you never know. Them Brown brothers don't even really like each other like that, so they can flip on each other. Anytime one of them boys think that they bigger than Kwame Brown. Hello! We got to get us some gaming in. Hey, Tess, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Shout out to you. Shout out to Lady DJ twice. Shout out to you. Shout out to Ghostface. Shout out to you. Tess again. Big Greg. Trayvon. EA. Shout out. Don't have the Dawn on the page. Shout out to Star. 415, 415, 415. Donna, Donna, Donna. Can we shake some people out tonight, too? Shout out to Star. If you want me to get all of the gratuity, please hit my cash app. 
Or you can hit the uh, troll donation link. Or if you want to donate, you got the um, dollar sign button down there. As well as Rumble. So show your boy some love because it's going to be a good one tonight. Uh, and I'm getting on because we're going to game some. I haven't abandoned it. Just ain't had the time, man. Ain't had the time, man. Because, yo, like, I don't think y'all knew it or not, bro. I don't think y'all know it, but I hate when people tell me where I can't go. The underboss in the building. Especially a nobody. A nobody. After I just finished telling Garrick Chavis. Man, y'all over there listening to a nobody. Letting a nobody tell y'all what chat you can go in. And what chat you can't go in. And this and that. Running around starting trouble. Calling themselves the Brown Boys. He was like, man, you know, ain't nobody told me I'd do all that, nothing like that. You ain't never heard nothing like that. I'm like, man, I'm listening to this dude, man. This man look like he on the Green Mile or somewhere, man. It's Tony D2 Wild, what up? Hey, yo. I don't know if y'all know it or not, but um, wrestling got it back where Bro, fans planning their schedules around that thing now, though. I think it's going to kind of slim down a little bit since The Rock dipping, but I don't know. Cena back. But, yeah, man, that shit was crazy. Shout out to The Rock and Triple H. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Shout out to y'all. Because I guess you could say YouTube is loving us. They running commercials. Kiana, Kiana, Kiana. But I got to touch on this, man. I got to touch on this here, man. I got to touch on this. And I got to say, brown skin lady shook him out the bushes a little bit, huh? Flushed him out the bushes. Sure did. Sure did. And at the same time, showed how much of a coward you were. Now I run that stink town. Real slumlord stuff. The final dawn. T Power, what up? So I don't even be knowing what's going on, man. <laughs> For real, man. Hey, everybody down there, man, living like slaves. That's what everybody doing. But Candy Man, your time has came, man. I'm going to address you about what you want to be called, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all boys be in denial over there. Stay drunk. Drunk. We going to get into that, Big Greg. Drunk. But I told you, don't tell me where I can't go. Huh. Sure did try to tell you, boy. Even had that predator, editor over there, singing my praises, huh? 
told you, man. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. You over there in front of them three or four hundred people with no dollar sign in your chat, erasing everything. But you ain't about to erase what I'm about to put on you this live stream here. And you coward. And you won't hit the link, coward. You sure won't. You sure won't. But, um, sure did. <laughs> sure did, Rich. Place where he say I couldn't go. Say I couldn't go and say anything nice about Mama Brown. That's what he said. And I sure went and said some awful things about Mama Brown. Did some awful things to Mama Brown, too. Wait till y'all see that. Miss Miss Believe, what up? It's a shame you had that lady driving that uh, bicycle all that way just to turn some tricks. Lady DJ, Lady DJ, Lady DJ. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all self. Then y'all get on here and be talking about mama's cooking and all of that. Man, y'all don't care nothing about that woman. Y'all ain't care nothing about that woman. Ain't none of y'all donate no kidney. <laughs> y'all talk all that mama's cooking bull. You done probably made enough money to buy two kidneys. Just off that slogan alone y'all been using, mama's cooking. According to Brunswick Streets, your mama was hooking. Man, Alpha Buckeye, let me tell you, my bladder was on OD and I refused to use the bathroom, man. And I'm telling you, as soon as you step foot, oh, I ain't, I, 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 I couldn't show y'all that either, but. I went to the Motel 6, talked to the people in there. As soon as you step on Motel 6 property, it just turned cold. It turned cold. Mama Brown is haunting that place. Man, games and rips, man. That's the only car. Hey, that's the only car of its kind, baby. It was cold. Do you know how stank a place got to be for it to still be stank and cold? It turned cold, bro. It turned cold. It turned cold. It turned cold. Sure did. I was up there quite a long time. Hello. Hello. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Sickum Dog says, Hey, I seen that C to door. Tony in the chat. Wait until I get this bicycle tire replaced. I'm going to slap the P out of you. W boy, this summer I'm pulling up on all dope boys. You hear that 901 clown? Man, hey. Sickle. You can take the link, man. But I'm saying, TJ Brown, you's a sucker. You'll pull up on all them channels. All them chat, dark skin, soul fly, all those people. You'll pull up on the predator editor. 
You won't pull up over here, though. And toothless, you is a lying piece of you-know-what, lady. Let me tell you something, woman. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Don't make me have to contact Straight Talk. That goes for you and Blazer. It's your last warning. It's your last warning. Because I know what straight talk will do for a hundred. That's all I got to say about that. You around here lying, talking about somebody voted you woman of the year. Jim from Willie Brown. It don't matter. Shout out to Jim from Willie Brown. What up? Chef MF and one. What up? See, I don't play for real. You better ask these people. You better ask these people. Anybody who I said that I was going to where they was at, I done went. Y'all the ones who don't never go. All you hear Kwame Brown say is, I ride through the drunk city. I ride through the drunk city. I ride through the, the through the drunk city. But you don't never stop. You don't never go live. That's a good one. That's a good one, Chef MF and one. The Kwame Crybabies. Bus line, bus line, bus line, bus line. Bus line. All we need is bus line. I stayed on the registry to teach my kids a lesson, but I'll get off it for bus line. I think all despicable women, despicable low-down dirty women, like Toothless, like So Ivy, like um, Velvet's daughter. I think they should get that straight talk treatment. Real talk. No cap, man. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> but as long as you got a person around here like straight talk, it'll get done. It'll get done. One of them in Plano. One of them is in uh, Dallas. And that'll keep you from taking the aggression out on your family. Mm-hmm. You know you owe her that. That woman was still calling you strangler after you even pieced it up. Them people don't care, man. Some people don't care, man. Them people don't care. And after tonight, you really going to see why I don't care. Because I got a surprise for y'all. I do. The Don does. I got a surprise for y'all. It's two for one night. It's two for one night. Yeah, it's two for one night. 
Uh, so somebody need to go get that clown. Not your business. And tell him he on the docket. Right, BG for help. Disrespecting that man. And again, y'all can save that mama crap for these people on the internet. Action show that neither one of y'all Browns except Kareem. Love that woman. Hello. Appreciate you, Donna, two, four, five, five. Yeah, not your business. See, you thought that you couldn't get found out. Thought that you couldn't get found out, huh, boy? You in all these chats, all these panels, thinking you couldn't get found out, huh? Got you. Yeah. And you can blame Kwame Brown. Man, Kwame Brown, man. Maybe I need to start back doing that. Shout out to the Oracle Hole and Rumble Down. Maybe I need to start back going that route, man. Exposing your chat, man. You got the Kwame Crybabies. Not only that, man. Uh, you got the, I can't even come up with a word for it, man. Like, your chat is the most hideous, ugliest people on YouTube. For real, man, pound for pound, you got the ugliest chat out of anybody, bro. Ain't nobody going to debate me on that, man. Like, look, you got, uh. Niggas with wave cap burns on their head, like T.J. Brown in there. You got Thumbnail Lady in there. Come on, man. You got, um, what's that motherfucking name? True Essence in there. Miss Miss Believe, what's good? You got, uh, Takara Tomorrow. Good damn, um... Snatch selling ass over there. Mm -hmm. I yield the floor, bitch. I'm here. <laughs> I yield the floor, bitch. I'm here. <laughs> I yield the floor, bitch. I'm here. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Misbelieve. I see you. The only decent motherfucker you got over there that, that look halfway decent, white. And um, Don DeMarty. And hold on. I, I, if I said true essence, I might have said that by mistake. I meant you got love ladies running around over there. I ain't got no problem with true essence. I get them mixed up. Well, whoever the one is that be in all these here people's chats when they know they be in everybody's chat when they know that they don't like each other. That's the one that I'm talking about. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Nigga be in Kwame Brown chat. Nigga be over there with Nick Ashford. All that, man. Dark skin. For real. The car tomorrow. She moving that snatch where she was when she was in, um, she worked in the penitentiary. She worked in the jail. But, um, uh, I ain't got no problem with Dimple D, man. I ain't heard 
Dipper D said nothing. Now, I might have to go hire Donna. Donna say, if I need to know something, that she could be hired. But I don't think she want to be hired. But, um, um, I'm going to hire somebody because I ain't really been caring. But shout out to Supernova. I talked to, I, I didn't talk to her. I called her live stream earlier. And she was dropping some, um, some real life factual stuff in her live stream. If you didn't get a chance to watch it, go check it out. Um, but yeah, these here people, man, they don't, um, they only respect you until they think that they equal to you or better than you. Uh-huh. Then they want to try to discredit you and do all that when they want to be you. Yeah, she was dang on, uh, do all those. Man, it's a whole bunch of, man, like, listen, bro. See, all that stuff that's happening over there, it wouldn't be happening over there uh, back in the days because everybody cammed up. Everybody cammed up because he wouldn't let you up there unless you cammed up. Everybody cammed up. FYF, me. Man, yo, when I say Kwame Brown is not a celebrity, like, I'm not capping, bro. Like, I'm really not capping. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all, then we're going to get to the get. But, um, I just wanna, I ain't even gonna say where I got this here information from, cause that'll be being messy. But, um, I'ma just go to it. Um, hey, man, Armando Black is funny. <laughs> I'm just reading this post. He said, man, do you honestly think, he said, predator editor, do you honestly think I care about what an H addict, predator, depends diaper wearing, clown like you think about me? <laughs> man, what is this? But anyway, let me show you, bro. Um, Now, these people, these people, right? I see you rumble. We in the building. What's good, everybody? Damn, son, where'd you find me? What's good? Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Turn up, turn up, turn up. It's Wednesday, man. Let me get you over the hump. No ditty. No doubt. <laughs> No diddy, no doubt. Kwame Brown, man. You is, man. What everybody in the NBA say about you is true, man. When it comes to this, though, you ain't got no heart, bro. You ain't got no heart, bro. And I ain't even talking about how you just let me violate you every chance I get. I ain't even talking about that. I'm talking about when you was on the basketball court, Surrounded by police and everybody. You never ever will get them people out your face, bro. 
You let Michael Jordan slap you around in the back of the head, Charles Oakley do all this his stuff. Because you talking about you was a kid, bro? Bro. I don't know who you think you fooling, but, bro, you wasn't smart. Only 10% of black folks in Brunswick, Georgia are smart. Your baby mama, Jocelyn, she's not a good looker, but she's smart. Her family was smart. Ain't no Browns known for being smart. You know what Browns known for. You know what Browns known for. Messing with underage women. And the women known for H to the is only. Hey, y'all really is dark. You got the ugliest chat. You got those people over there with all those hideous charges, domestic violence. People on the registry. You got grown men saying that they got off a of registry because of you, man. Because of you. See, that's what I like about 2024 because everybody's getting exposed. Everybody's getting exposed. These people coming out the closet. You finding out who really, really ain't nothing, right? But Kwame Brown, you're not a celebrity. Before I uh, lose my train of thought, let me get back to that. Because uh, these people put you on their show because you was a 400,000 watch draw. That's what your channel say. You charge these people, bro. You charge these here people, bro. And don't get it twisted, I charge too. I charge too. But you the one talking about you Mr. Viral. You get on these other people's stuff and you do a million views and all that. No, no. No, no. Hold on a minute. Let me see why this is showing this screen. Instead of this one. Hold on. Oh, is the other one? What? Yo, this is crazy. Yo, this is crazy. Yo, hold on. Yo, this is going and showing y'all my, why? No. There we go. Okay. This is called a reality table. Now, these people... <coughs> Put Kwame Brown on their platform for an hour, right? You want to know how many views these people got? In three weeks, they tagged him and all. Reality show with Big Lex. Three hundred and seventy-two views in three weeks, which are great. Leader Kwame Brown on there. 
Man, I can sneeze and get that. Rich. I done passed this fool. You said it. I'm like D plus list now. Look, look at all the people they got on here. I even know this here guy from somewhere. Look, I know this guy from somewhere. Look at this clown. Awkward. He got them stolen shoes on. Look at this dude. This idiot. This dunce. Guy. This is sad. Let's listen to what this dude said. Let's listen to what this person is saying. Adversity and belief, okay. So, and it's super simple again, but I think it's an important question, but why do y'all feel people struggle with listening? Mm. Um, I'm sorry. Come on, man. Which direction you looking in, Brown? Instead of always being on guard, over talking, overthinking the situation. People, yeah, it's hard for people to say you're right. Yeah, if you're right, I'll give it to you. Say that way. We Just know. accept that you're not perfect. Accept that you're gonna you're, not, you're gonna make mistakes. And once I shed that insecurity of hearing the truth, then it don't matter what you say because it gives me an opportunity to rectify the situation. Nobody's mad at somebody that say, "Okay, you're right." That might be what it is, but let's let's talk about it. Instead of always being on guard. Why you ain't promote these people, man? Why you ain't tell people to go over here and watch these here people? Man, you ain't nothing, man, for real, bro. But let it be somebody that you think you're going to get some clout on. The pivot, the pivot. Yo, y'all go watch build the pivot, the pivot, the pivot. Build the pivot. Catch me on the 85,000 show. 85,000 show. 85 times show. Cody Holcomb. Cody Holcomb. Cody Holcomb. <laughs> Them people like, man, I ain't inviting that man back around here no more, man. Never admits when he's wrong. Jim from Willie Brown. You trying to be like his daddy? Me? See, I keep them boys in check over there. They had to get rid of me because I was exposing scams and all type of stuff that he was trying to put on over there. Pyramid schemes and all that. Because I thought he was green to the situation. I ain't knew he was trying to be down with the situation. You don't use your chat like that. But this man right here, believe me, y'all ain't got to believe me. Y'all can think I'm just trying to start something, but I ain't. This man right here, I don't care all that tough talk he be doing. This man is scared to death of damn D. Scared to death. Scared to death. Scared to death. I don't care who think I'm trying to instigate some stuff. Y'all can't even deny it. Scared to death. Scared. And I know the conversations you had with me about that man. Scared. And I know it still festers in you because you feel less of a man that you know you hold stuff inside, man. Just like I told you how you felt about self-talk, you revealed it. I told you how you felt about Forgotten Kings, you revealed it. All of that, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. You forget. And I see why you wanted me to be your cousin because your real family is the worst, bro. It's the worst, bro. A bunch of bumpkins. Bumpkins from the country, bro. That's why I say, man. Listen, man. I'll never let 
a country bumpkin do anything to me. Yep, yep, Lady DJ sure did. Yep, Jim from Willie Brown sure did. He don't care. He don't care. Just as long as he could get on his platform and when somebody coming at him, he can say, Milkman, 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 come milk this. Milkman, come milk that. Milkman, go at uh Nick Ashford. Milkman, go at Queen Regina. Milkman. Clown. He benefiting off it, so keep doing it. But your Kwame crybabies over there, y'all sound crazy. Bus lane, bus lane. I'm in bus lane. I don't care. Garrick Chavis, I don't care about you. If you would have dropped your location while I was in Florida, I would have been right there and see what you would have had to say about all this here dangerous stuff. Keep my name out your mouth. It ain't no more cool or yo, you all right, nigga. Russell Red. All that. All that. But TJ Brown, the brand new clucker in town. Brown. 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 Is you out here cross-dressing, boy? Is you out here cross-dressing? And I ain't even playing. I'm not even playing. Shout out to Flip. Flip told me that this man said that this is not his brother's baby mama. That's what he said. Said he said it with conviction. After this, whatever it is, uh, ladies, you got to tell me, is it still in to put a headband over whatever else this is? But I know this. I know this. That Brokey Smalls, <laughs> Brokey Smalls over here, Got that headband burn. Boy, is you out there following in your mama's footsteps, boy? Is that why you said it's Tariq, not Tyreek? That you, boy? Same gas station glasses. Same nose. Same grill. Huh? Huh? Hello? When you cross-dressing, boy, that makes you even more of a coward. Because I was in your face talking noise about Mama Brown. And you played it off like you was a woman. And I ain't even playing. I ain't even playing Smokey Small. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Smokey. Uh-huh. 
I ain't playing around, man. I'm not playing around, Smoke. You know why? Because you wanted this. M-Soul, M-Soul, M-Soul. You wanted this, man. You wanted this. You and the Kwame Crybabies. This is the type. I thought this here was the type of female that y'all was messing with. But this you. You the packer. Not only is you the packer, you the coward packer, boy. What you do to hide that mustache? Boy, Mama Brown. You had some not good to look at offspring. All of them. Look just like this. Do. 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 Bro. Why y'all got all y'all wear them flying J glasses, bro? All y'all, all y'all wear them flying J glasses, man. Man, you was a clown, bro. You walk around Brunswick pretending to be Biggie Smalls, bro. You was a clown. You let, a, you let, you let another clown punk y'all boys. You let ears run through your whole clique, bro. 21, clown. You was a clown, bro. You was a coward. You was a coward. You know how I really, really know you was a coward? Because before I even posted them videos, y'all niggas knew I was there. Kwame Brown, Rusty made a live, and I was there. Instead of you coming where I said that I was, that you know where I was, because people on the video seen those people calling, letting y'all know. You ran the Kwame Brown's chat, boy. You ran the Kwame Brown's chat. It's a six. It ain't no eight. You ran the Kwame Brown's chat, man. So this here what you do for money? That piano on? gig. It ain't paying for you. It ain't paying enough for you. I see you got them little earrings in your ears. You got them little earrings in your ears. Uh-huh. Now let's just say that this is not him or her or whatever, which I think it is, but let's just say you I'm giving y'all what the men and the women of Brunswick look like. Like I told you, if you ain't a slay or you ain't Southern Gotti or kin to them, man, Brunswick know what they can suck. Shout out to Pathmark, Big Cousin here. Retro, what up, boy? Roy Lee. And delivered the glasses. But <laughs> man, listen, bro. This man's a clown. This man's a clown. I don't care about none of y'all, bro. I was there in person. Point period. Stop. And this man, y'all should hold him accountable. He got on a Mondo Black platform, and what did he say? This man can't come to Glen County. He can't step foot in Glen County. He can't come to Brunswick. 
He said, don't just be on the outskirts. I wasn't on no outskirts. I was right up the street from Mama Brown. Thank you, M. Soul. That man is cross dressing. Man, I don't know who cutting them boys. Hey, them boys probably cutting each other hair, man. Man, oh, the barber. The barber, they accused the barber of um, messing with underage girls. What's the barber name down there? John John? John John or some stuff like that, man? Man, like, listen, bro. Y'all done seen everybody from down there, man. The Browns, Ears. John John, Kenneth Atkins, um, what's the other clown? Ten Ten, Kev Slow. Yeah, she missing all that. Up there in her mother-in-law's place of business. Her mother-in-law's place of business, yeah. If you didn't see it, go watch the video, M.S.O. Go watch the video. Man, listen, man. You was a failure at life, Candy, man. You was a failure at life, man. Look at you, man. You got that big, gigantic pelican brief. Uh, in the middle of your face. Looking like Mama Brown. Look at you. 40-something year old boy. With fake Oakley shades on. And a, and a dollar blue t-shirt. That's you by day. This is you. By night. <laughs> this is you by night, man. That's why you had time to get on all these here panels. Yeah. So now, you shouldn't have a problem with camming up and coming to where I'm at. Ain't that right, y'all? That's only right, right? And that's only right, chat. People who like me, people that hate me. Huh? Huh? All uh, y'all people that's just over here being nosy. That's only right. Right? He told me where I can't go. Now I'm telling him. You can't go, bro. You can't come to Riston County saying that you're going to do some harm to me. And I don't show up, bro. All you got to do is go live from a location in Richland County, man. <laughs> for an hour. And I'll be there. And everybody got to document what I'm saying, man. You over here looking like if Biggie Smalls and Jay-Z had a baby, you got that damn Joe Camel ass snout. Man, y'all boys are some clowns, man. I disrespect y'all boys, man, to the fullest. And y'all don't do nothing, bro. Nothing, man. I came where y'all was at, man. Man, y'all some clowns, bro. Y'all some clowns. And y'all boys can't do nothing on y'all own, man. Yeah, the jokes just write themselves. And y'all let somebody like that like this, roast y'all, and then y'all be like, oh, this man here is so funny. Why? Because he got them truck stop uh, ear pods where he can talk louder than anybody else. Man, look at this dude, man. This dude miserable. This dude ain't got no transportation. He go up there and talk tough. He got this here deep voice. When I done disrespected everybody in this man's bloodline, and now he trying to say, oh, man, well, you know, he just wants somebody to do something to him because his family don't like him. I had my family with me. 
Look like they like me. Look like they like me to me. Like me enough where if you pulled up, I guarantee you they wouldn't have been in no danger. That's why you didn't pull up. That's why you ran to your brother. Look at you. Look at you. I was praying somebody would have called you and you would have pulled up. See, why y'all was live, I wasn't watching. Yeah, I was filming and doing everything that I needed to do, but I knew that y'all would find out. I was praying that you would have showed up. I was praying that you would have showed up. That's why I went to the busiest place right there. I already had been to that grave. I already had been to that grave. You had shown up. I threw that dirt in your face. All that. All that, man. You was a clown. Look at you. Look like you need a bath. Look like you need a bath, boy. Look like you need a bath, dingy black. And you was a mistake, nigga. You was a mistake. You and Kwame Brown was mistakes. Y'all was mistake babies. He wanted to stop before he had y'all. Y'all was mistake babies. Look at look at your brother. He mistakenly went through sixty six million dollars, and now he talking about he want to sell his mansion. The audacity! And y'all fools over there sit there and listen to him. You know why? Cause y'all a bunch of crackheads and ugly people. Only crackheads would be like applauding that stuff. Yeah, bus line, bus line, bus line. Must line, must line, must line. Yeah, tell him Kwame. Yeah, tell him Candyman. Yeah, tell him Mr. 86K. Yeah, y'all tell him. Okay, none of them niggas do a live stream by themselves. Guess who can? Me. Guess who else can? The other nigga they scared of. Damn D. Guess who can't? Them. Them. Motherfucking them. And they ain't the only ones. They ain't the only ones. Sure ain't. Sure ain't. They sure ain't the only ones. Fubu, or for you, boo, some shit. Fubu. Sure ain't the only one. Look at this here clown. Another one of them Rudy Tootie fresh and fruities. Smoking on a black and mild. This here is not your business, y'all. Yeah, this clown right here, not your business. Hey, y'all notice how these dudes here be talking tough? And then when, when, when I expose them, they pipe down. Just like that boy over there, oh so broke. Oh so broke. I FaceTime his mama's DM with a D pic. And he didn't do nothing about it, but stop saying my name. Now all he doing over there is copying everything that Supernova do and trying to act like that he really, really doing something. <laughs> but this is not your business. Clown. Who got everything to say. Burnt lip clown. Junkie. Fubu, or uh, for you, boo, some shit. Fubu. Man wearing Fubu. Them, them, you want to use. them some big ass jeans. What? Man wearing Fubu jeans with champion shoes, bro. Look at it. 
All in Kwame Brown's house. Here in Kwame Brown's house. Whatever acronym you want to use, them fucked up jeans. He's my motherfucker. And why are you wearing these white, if dirty you, ass socks? Robert or any fucking Man, body got don't goddamn like that. Fuck y'all niggas. Listen, bro. But I'm I, saying, you know I, them I, jeans too I, big for that small ass t-shirt. Your motherfucking flow dirty. That's one of my goddamn socks. Up. You in the fucking garage, dude. It's not a floor. It's a garage. It's a garage floor. It's a garage floor. Fubu or for you boo, some shit. Fubu. This is an idiot. Kwame Brown don't even know how to say fubu. This man got a crease in his damn jeans. This man got a crease in his jeans. And y'all be letting this man on here talk noise. I be mean, like, man, that's why I say, man. But I don't care because I don't even care who they be talking noise to, like Soul Fly. I don't care that they be talking noise to your big ass. I, don't, I do not give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? But what I do know is they ain't going to talk shit to me. They ain't gonna talk no shit to me for one, because I ain't gonna take it, and for two, I'm not gonna take it. Not from no people like this. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. These people still living off the fact that they knew somebody that made it to the NBA. They're not living off the fact that they knew somebody who failed. They're not sitting here and living off the fact that not only did they know somebody that failed, but another person that had a good idea for the city, like Coden and Trayton, he stole that idea like it was his. And then instead of going back and supporting it, what he did, go all the way to Saginaw, Michigan to support something called the Saginaw STEM. Yo, I guess that STEM pulled out your mouth, and now you ain't supporting nothing. We don't hear none of that no more. Coding and trains. Now it's beef with his derelict family. Look, this is not your business. This is not your business. The person that be up there talking the most trash, it be people like him, Will Allen, all these folks. Put some big ass jeans. Whatever acronym you want to use, them fucked up jeans. He's my motherfucker. And what? Look at, oh man, I gotta see them shoes. What in the fuck? What is that? This nigga here look like goddamn he on NBA 2K with them damn red loafers that they give you for free. And some white socks and some fubu jeans. What kind of fucking shirt he got on? And why are you wearing these white if dirty ass, ass socks? Robert or any fucking body don't goddamn like it. What's wrong with this guy? This nigga here got on U.S. Polo Assassin and smoking a black and mild that ain't even freaked. Yo, this is weird. This is weird. This is weird right here. This is almost as weird as when I caught that fool oh so broke doing that stupid dance. Right, he got on them NBA 2K loafers, bro. Like, stop it, man. Like, stop it, man. Really, man, I had to realize, man, these people really can't talk no noise to me, man. Like, even on um, Five Knuckle Shuffle with the Blazer, like, all she got is bastard kids. All her kids, bastards. All of them. Even the two that she lost, bastards. I don't have no bastard kids. None. None of my four kids, bastards. None. Shout out to Big Marshall. Y'all turn that up. It was another one we need to turn up. My bad. Y'all got to remind me now when them wrenches, when like them super chats come in, turn them up. It was another one. Go back and turn it up. Go back and turn it up. I guess because, you know, I was sharing, so I couldn't turn it up. Yeah, that's him. The not your business dude. Bro. Shopping in Burlington Coat Factory, TJ Maxx. I can't remember the last time I seen some FUBU jeans. And I know I ain't never seen... This nigga is chilling. This nigga is chilling. Like, look. 
I yield the floor, bitch. I'm here. <laughs> I yield the floor, bitch. I'm here. <laughs> I yield the floor, bitch. I'm here. <laughs> Big Marshall 38 donated four dollars and ninety nine cents through super chat. I know that wasn't that loud mouth joker that be cracking jokes on everybody with that dill pickle nose and those cheap shades. Oh, you talking about T.J. Brown? Yeah, the dude with the loud mic. Look like Robin Harris, son. You can't make this here up, man. Look. Man got his feet all on Kwame Brown table. Dirty socks. Dirty socks. Niggas stick them back in these loafers with some crosses on them. I thought they was champion shoes. And he got his damn FUBU jeans cuff. You can't make this shit here up, man. You can't make this shit here up, man. And I bet you he from Brunswick. Now y'all seeing, like, look. All them people, they got that damn cucumber nose. I don't got them like that. Fuck y'all niggas. Listen, bro. But I'm I, saying, you know I, them jeans too big you, for that small ass t-shirt. Your motherfucking flow dirty. That's what my goddamn sock. You, you, you in the fucking garage, dude. Garage. It's not a floor, it's a garage. It's a garage floor, ain't it? Got it's a garage floor. It's a garage flow, ain't it? Boys out there watching, uh... Court, court shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers watching the people's court in the garage. Idiot. Millionaire. Yeah, right. Like Lou Williams say, man. Nigga Quarry Brown probably got $10,000 to his name, man. That's why I looked at that damn crackhead at that gas station like, really, bro? Really, bro? So just because this man here taking Section 8, he helping people, bro. But why he ain't helping you not to get this here trash out them trash cans? Panama Queen, what up? Jamie Jew, Jamie Jew, Jamie Jew. M so, M so, M so. This the man. Talk all that noise about people. Broke, disgusted. Um, what's them damn juices that be in the pouch? Nigga over here drinking them, smoking black and mild, non-freak. Getting clowned by another bum who wears TJ Mac polo. <laughs> but at least not your business be there. He don't even let Candyman come over there. <laughs> Candyman be like, man, I'm come over there, uh, bruh. Hold on, don't worry about it, man. I'm going to be down there in Brunswick, or I'm going to be down there in Jacksonville, man. I stopped in Jacksonville too, man. Cormie Brown, you ain't running nothing, bro. And I mean that shit when I say it. You are not running nothing. You are not running nothing. You see them $500 donations stop. We ain't seen you giving damn D all these here organizations. Saginaw STEM. We don't even hear about that shit no more. From you, Carcino, nobody, bro. Don't even hear about it, man. Ain't that crazy? It's crazy, huh? Nah, it ain't crazy. You was down to scam people all the time. You, Toothless. The life coach. Look. Look who you left out in the cold, boy.
<laughs> Look, that's the reason why you on here doing all this tough talk and hollering. Tark. Why you got Kwame Brown swipe all down your tonsils. He the reason why you out here looking like a bum and all that. He let that house get foreclosed on because it was bums like you arguing about who should own the house. Yeah, I don't want to hear nothing about y'all cared about y'all mama because she birthed nine of y'all. That's 18 kidneys between y'all. And none of y'all could give her one? Fuck out of here, nigga. Y'all know what y'all can suck. Now you out here cross-dressing in Brunswick. Tell me, that ain't my brother, baby mama. How you know unless you her? I could see if I was just driving any old Charger, any old Challenger, any old Dodge, but off the top, even without the wrap, it's a Hellcat, so it got to be respected. But, bro, I am the only person in the United States of America with a Thundercat Hellcat. It is no, and your town only has 553 people in it, nigga. And y'all both admitted that y'all knew I was there, bruh. Y'all start making up excuses for you not to come see me. Well, you know, I don't want to come up there because I ain't trying to go to jail and I ain't trying to do... Well, you need to shut the fuck up. Bitch ass nigga. And say that shit for these here other motherfuckers who you be talking to. Cause I ain't the motherfucking one clown. And like I said, man. You come to Richmond County and go live. Talking that jibber jabbish. Drop your location. Within an hour, I'm going to be there. And that's going to be the worst day of your life, Jack. That lady say she ain't seen y'all niggas in three years. Man, he ain't nothing. He been picked on his whole life. He, been, he just been a big fat boy. I yield the floor. Bitch, I'm here. <laughs> I yield the floor. Bitch, I'm here. I yield the floor, bitch, I'm here. <laughs> Big Marshall 38 donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Where TJ Neck hat? That boy look like the Black Ninja Turtle. Yep. Yeah. That boy look bad. I tell you, that boy look like he wanted to be in the Source magazine. The dawn was in the city. And like Willie Brown said, these people celebrated me. Hello. Hey, appreciate that, uh, Walt, for Don's support. Appreciate that. We going on two hours. Don't have me underpaid. The people of Glen County did celebrate me, man. Man, you was a clown, man. You was a clown. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes, man, for you. And that toucan, Sam, cucumber nose of yours to feel better. That you got to say on that internet with the camera off. Because people can really, really see how you feel with the camera on, boy. You talking to the wrong one, man. You around here trying to roast folks. Roast women. Soul fly. Well, I don't give a fuck. Um, 
But if you sit back there and let this here clown roast you, like, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Like, this dude here is just, this dude so ugly, you don't even have to say nothing. Like, it's just a self-roast. Just a self-roast. Like, this nigga look like a mistake. This nigga is the Packer. This nigga is the Packer, bro. All that stuff they talk about, the projection, all of that. Man's a clown. All these people are like Biz 101, him. They try to dominate women. That's what they try to do. Well, boy, you work at a piano factory, boy. A piano factory. Idiot. And you cross-dress when you off. Idiot. And you shave all the hair off your face too, boy. People need to watch you. Queenie, queenie, queenie. Lovey, lovey, lovey. See, it's hard for me to bring my series back because y'all boys don't cam up no more. Russell Red. I'm just waiting on one more piece of information to come in on you. Not your business. All y'all boys living bad, bro. All y'all boys living bad. I bet you, man. Net worth. Money that you can actually get and pull out the bank or whatever. I bet you Kwame Brown, man, can not show y'all niggas $90,000, man. $90,000. Man, listen, man. They would have had to have called in the armed forces to get me off your motherfucking ass, boy. No diddy. And I'm 50. You know, I'm just a, a, a drunk that y'all say. But you was a coward, though. You was a coward. And you around here trying to look young. You got those wave cap scars all over your forehead. And nigga, you older than Kwame Brown. And you got his pipe all down your tonsils, man. You was a sucker, nigga. And I ain't even laughing. Yeah, I brought my family with me. Because I wanted them to witness how I do suckers like you. See, y'all live through this here YouTube and this here internet talk. Anything I do I always plan out what's the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario with you was sending you where your mama was at, boy. But I was justified because thanks to good old ears, y'all boys was plotting to do me something. You say you had the whole Brunswick wanting to do me something. That's what you said, man. You said that, man. You forgot. You said I couldn't go nowhere near that grave. I brought dirt back, boy. 
I brought dirt back, boy. And if I didn't want to have to give that money back, I'll show you the footage, boy. But the footage going to come out. The footage either going to come out I'm going to get the okay to show it. Yep. You mad, boy. You mad. Because Kwame Brown gave Tiki the tickler way more money than you, boy. And he gave Scrooge money, boy. Not you. Not you. But you got the one, you the one talking the most noise. You. What's that other boy who said he was coming looking for me who was nowhere near me? Yeah, y'all know who to play with. Y'all know who to play with. Internet games and all that. Y'all know who to play with. Stick to playing with people like Garrick Chavis and Biz and them boys like that. Don't play with me. Yeah, don't play with me, Africa Bambada looking nigga. For real, man. Only thing in Brunswick County besides the slaves and Southern Gotti and her people is queers and weirdos. And like I say, the best looking women in Brunswick and Glen County is white. Y'all black women look like this. You can't roast nobody. You can't talk shit about no women. You can't talk shit about nobody's wives. None of that shit. None of y'all niggas. Because even Jocelyn is ugly as fuck. She just was smart enough to get away from Kwame Brown. But she was still up on the Kenny Backers reign. All y'all flunkies. All y'all flunkies selling out for a little 300 people that be in your chat. When, um, because Kwame Brown said that y'all kidding to him or y'all his friends. Garrick Chavis no good and well in his head. He wanted to be over there with Moonlight. But because y'all put the Tim down on him and all that. He was like, man, you know where well, I just got to, you know, denounce myself for Moonlight. Denounce what? This here is YouTube. Man. You can hate a motherfucker one month and like a nigga the next month. Like, denounce what? I wish I would let a motherfucker denounce me when they ain't paying my Wi-Fi bill or none of that shit, man. Like, bro, I wish I would sit there and let, oh, well, if you don't rock with us, you're going to get canceled. Canceled? Like, nigga, it's over 2 billion accounts on YouTube. Like, what is he talking about? Canceled. Nobody don't even know y'all niggas, bro. Went to motherfucking Brunswick, like, your hometown. Nobody knew this nigga. This nigga got 400 and something thousand subscribers. People don't know this nigga. People definitely don't know this nigga from where I'm from. That nigga is still living off of 2021. I promise you that. 2021, and it's because he was getting a lot of shine on Instagram. All of that. This is the person who say, yo, they call their name. They don't show up. This platform over here says Skinny the Dawn in the attic. Anybody who got something to say to me, they can come say it. The link stays dropped. But yeah, nigga, I bet you was one of them niggas. Them mother was like, man, you look like Biggie, dog. Oh, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, let me rap, you know. See, my brother, you know, like, yeah, you know. Like, you was talking shit about the man in the ears. 
talking about, man, is you let me on your channel, man, because my brother, man. Then when somebody bring it up, you talking about, yeah, you know family be going back and forth. But why niggas on YouTube can't go back and forth, idiot? Nigga, you about to be 50 years old. Instead of trying to set an example for dumbass Kwame Brown, you dumber than him. He using you. And he knows that. He can only use the disenfranchised, man. The wars of the states, the lowest of the lows, the drug addicts. Like, bro, anybody who wear these here dark ass gas station shades, bro. Bro, you hiding your eyes, you on drugs, boy. Look, even when you cross dress, you put on them damn shades, bro, that you get from the hair store. Your dental work messed up. If this ain't you, the next time you go live, you shouldn't have a problem with camming up. Cam up and smile. Cam up and smile. If you cam up and smile, and you got your tooth, then we know you ain't cross-dressing. But we know you're a liar. We know you're a liar because this person here said that Kwame Brown was its child's uncle. And you too, nigga. Boy, you ain't nothing. Boy, you's a career criminal, man. That's why I laugh at y'all. Y'all be like, the drunk was locked up. The drunk was locked up for 11 years. Everybody who say that, I'm living better than them, including their daddy, Kwame Brown. The stinking life coach with all her children being bastards. I never been to jail. That nigga been to jail. <sighs> broke as shit. This loser right up here, broke. I don't even tell people I've been to jail. You got predator editors going on damn drug binges. Having to drive back home. Like, bruh, who in the fuck drives? And that goes to show you, man, still living that damn young life. Dogging out Kelly, using her vehicle just to drive back and forth on drug benches and shit. Predator editor. Showing motherfucking tours of your, uh, projects while you trying to dang on get right. Wanting sympathy out here. Family emergency. Family emergency, these nuts. We ain't see your son with you. Nigga. Eggplant no. Look at it. Look at it. Motherfucking nigga look like frog horn leg horn. Bull wanker looking at me. Mm-hmm. Clown. You got a nerd talk about you roasting people and shit like that, man. Man, bro, look where you live at, bro. You can't even afford to live in Jacksonville, bro. You can't even afford to live in Savannah, man. Y'all live in the lowest of the low, man. The stankest of the stank, man. And y'all ain't even no real Geechees for real, bro. I yield the floor, bitch, I'm here. I yield the floor, bitch, I'm here. <laughs> I yield the floor, bitch, I'm here. <laughs> that nigga got a turd nose. 
That nigga know the shape of a fucking turd. Clown. Clown. I'm about to share the link because I don't want none of them bitch ass niggas to be like, he been over there talking all that shit. But, you know what I'm saying? He ain't saying no lame shit. Bitch ass nigga. Yeah. Drop that shit on Rumble too. Shit. See what's up with my chat, man. Cause them cowboys ain't gon' they ain't they know better, man. Man, I don't play. I I don't for real. Like I know, you know. I come on here and I, you know. Y'all laugh and all type of stuff, but the damn flip. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, man. Arabia Barbosa, man, look way better than that, man. For real, man. Hey. Man, TJ Brown, man, look, I see why, man. I see why it took you all that time to finally muster up enough courage to get on the internet. Y'all niggas need a cosign, man. All y'all. All y'all crackheads need a cosign, bro. Ears, you, Garrick Chavis. All y'all boys. get Y'all ain't getting no channel off y'all own. I came over here with a channel. Damn D came over here with a channel. Kwame Brown, newsflash. Your 15 minutes of fame is up. Damn right, Kiana. They, they better. Y'all keep that fake imaginary smoke. The people in the chat. Because when y'all least expect it, BAM! Me and the skin captain pulled up on your ass. Kwame <laughs> Brown. I don't feel like you going to rest. Until somebody around you get hurt playing or you get hurt. You get hurt. When I tell you, I don't think I ever pissed so good than when I was on the soul of Mama Brown. Yeah, Mama Brown still looms all over that town. At night, some people still say they see her riding that beach cruiser up and down 341. Late night at Motel 6. People still say they hear knocks on their door. Room service, 2 a.m., open the door, nobody there. Say golf balls get missing on the golf course. 
Y'all got Mama Brown still fucking with people because y'all selfish niggas wouldn't give her no kidney. Why you didn't give her a kidney, Kwame Brown? You wasn't doing shit anyway. But getting called a bum by Stephen A. Smith and everybody else. And if this here hurt, it needs to hurt. It needs to hurt. Because while you on here preaching to all these here derelicts, crackheads, and people that's looking at you like Gandhi or somebody that needs somebody to believe in, They need to know if you would treat your own mama like that, you don't give a fuck about them. Bro. Just like how that bitch treat Velvet. That bitch don't give a fuck about nobody else. Crazy thing about it is they got you fooled like they do. Like Sacred. Like Shakira and them. Bitch don't give a fuck. What's the other nigga? Patrick. NC Lady, what up? Path Mark, what up? Willie Brown. Man, listen, man. I don't even care no more, bro. Anybody who over there claiming bus life can get it, bro. Shout out to Big Greg. He says, Mama Brown haunting that hotel. Yeah. Damn right. And I was wondering, right? Because you know, like, just because you call yourself a prostitute, it's still, you still need a trick, right? So I was wondering, right? Because, like, to get arrested, like, you pretty much got to be a big deal. Prostitute, right? So I was wondering, like, who the fuck is fucking Mama Brown? If that's the motherfucking head prostitute in town, You see how these niggas look down there. Yellow shirt. Nigga at the gas station. <sighs> but. Hey man. Like I said y'all. These people here is not going to show up. They not going to take no length. None of that. Uh, but. They will get. All type of courage. And these are the other chats. Barbie Girl, Tina. All these other places. But they won't come to the source. No. They won't come to the source, man. T.J. Brown. I've proven that you're a coward. Now, if you want to prove otherwise, you know what you got to do. Or just shut the fuck up. You got to goddamn steal a car, come down here, or lie to somebody that you borrow in a car, and bring your ugly ass down here. So I can smack the black off your ass, man. And I mean that shit. If not, shut the fuck up, nigga. Because I'll make a reason to get where I need to get. Shout out to Rumble. Look at this clown right here. And shout out to y'all.
I'm scared of the dawn. The final dawn. I just want to thank y'all. For allowing me. To entertain y'all tonight. And to talk shit about this here dick nose motherfucker. Clown. Motherfucker look like Cedric the Entertainer with a bull winkle nose. Real talk. Like, look at this nigga, man. Look at this clown. Fuck all that. Let's look at him. Look at this nigga. And this nigga thought this was a cool pick. This nigga was all in the back in the in the barber shop and shit. <laughs> oh, wrinkle head ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga. He was a clown, nigga. Yeah, that's bronze wick. This the motel, this bronze wig, this the motel six where that motherfucker Mama Brown used to turn tricks at. And I feel like Jamie Jules that these this nigga was cross dressing. That he's cross dressing. But in the event that he's not cross dressing, let me tell you something, whole ass nigga. And I'm saying this from all your family, nigga. Just like I told your big brother Scrooge, nigga. I'm going to tell you the same thing, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. You was a hold of me, nigga. Suck my dick, clown. And you ain't going to do shit about it, nigga. You ain't going to do shit about it. Because not only... Not only... Are you around here talking about the police? You don't want to do it because you don't want to get locked up, nigga. Nigga, before the police could even get to where they need to get, I'm going to be them fucked you up, boy. For real. I think motherfucking Bronzewick should be just like I Am Legend. Just motherfuckers shut that shit down and let motherfuckers just come through and get rid of all y'all country ass niggas that's just sitting around stealing electricity from each other and getting crab boils and all that shit on your motherfucking auntie's porch but you won't even fix up the house. I run Brunswick, nigga. And I'm going to make Brunswick a better place for you and me. Clown. If y'all want to catch the dawn, man, after party, gaming, and all that, I'll be on the Gaming Skinny channel. We'll be talking about WrestleMania a little bit. Um, me and the underboss, we we uh, trying to get together and uh, get y'all a, a wrestling project coming. And... Uh, if anybody feels disrespected, I want y'all to feel disrespected. I want y'all to feel disrespected to the point that y'all gonna do something about it. You too, biz. You too. You too. Because you can sit there and try to pull the wool over people's eyes or whatever. But man, until I hear all 34 pages of that paperwork, I ain't buying it. And just off your past confessions to Sears and others, you knew that girl. You say you didn't know that girl. But in other places, you said that you did. 